From a childhood of poverty and unimaginable struggles to becoming a global icon and billionaire, Oprah Winfrey's journey is nothing short of extraordinary. Her rise is not just a story of financial success, but a tale of grit, resilience, and relentless determination. How did a young girl from rural Mississippi break every barrier to become one of the most influential and powerful women on the planet? In today's video, we're diving deep into the life of Oprah Winfrey, revealing the secrets behind her unstoppable rise, her unique partnership with Stedman Graham, her jaw-dropping real estate empire, and her remarkable legacy in 2024. Stay tuned! You won't want to miss a single detail of this inspiring journey. Oprah Winfrey's journey to becoming a global icon began in the most humble of circumstances. She was born Orpa Gail Winfrey on January 29, 1954, in Kosciusko, Mississippi. Her name, originally inspired by a biblical figure, was often mispronounced as Oprah, and the name stuck. Oprah's early years were filled with challenges. Raised by her single mother, Vernita Lee, who worked as a housemaid, Oprah experienced extreme poverty. At times, she had to wear dresses made from potato sacks to school, an image that starkly contrasts with the wealth and influence she would later amass. Oprah's childhood was turbulent, to say the least. She was often moved between relatives and faced abuse and neglect in various homes. However, a turning point came when she was sent to live with her father, Vernon Winfrey, in Nashville. Under his strict but caring guidance, Oprah found stability and discipline, which helped her excel in school. She became an honors student and even won a scholarship to Tennessee State University, where she studied communications. Oprah's early life experiences of adversity shaped her resilience, empathy, and drive, qualities that would later define her career and life. By the age of 19, Oprah landed her first job in media as a news anchor for a local station in Nashville, becoming the youngest and first black female anchor at the station. Her undeniable talent in storytelling and connecting with audiences became clear, and her career was set to soar. Oprah Winfrey's breakthrough in the world of television came in the early 1980s when she was offered the chance to host a local talk show in Chicago called AM Chicago. At the time, the show was struggling in the ratings, but Oprah's unique style of interviewing and her natural ability to connect with guests and audiences quickly turned things around. Within a few months, she had taken AM Chicago from the bottom of the ratings to the top beating out even the established Phil Donahue show in the process. What made Oprah stand out was her ability to approach serious topics with empathy and understanding, while also balancing lighter, more entertaining segments. Audiences loved how relatable and authentic she was, a stark contrast to the more formal and distant hosts of the time. Her success with AM Chicago caught the attention of network executives, and in 1986, the show was renamed The Oprah Winfrey Show and expanded to a full hour. This was the beginning of a media empire that would dominate daytime television for 25 years. By making her talk show a platform for personal stories, self-help, and big cultural moments, Oprah created a new format that would revolutionize daytime television. She wasn't just hosting a show, she was creating a movement. In 1986, Oprah Winfrey made one of the most pivotal decisions in her career, a decision that not only transformed her personal financial trajectory, but also reshaped the media landscape. While hosting The Oprah Winfrey Show, she realized that merely earning a salary as a television host would limit her financial potential. Encouraged by her growing influence and backed by her business acumen, Oprah took control of her future by founding Harpo Productions, an independent multimedia production company that gave her ownership over her content. This move was groundbreaking at the time, as few television personalities owned the rights to their own shows. By taking ownership of her brand and content, Oprah shifted from being just a host 
to becoming a media mogul. Harpo Productions allowed her to oversee the production, licensing, and distribution of The Oprah Winfrey Show, ensuring that a significant portion of the profits flowed directly to her rather than to a network or production company. The studio also served as the launchpad for numerous successful television projects, including Dr. Phil and Rachel Ray. This strategic decision enabled Oprah to command a far greater share of the show's earnings, turning her into one of the highest-paid television personalities of all time. At the height of her show's popularity, Oprah was earning between $200 million and $300 million annually, dwarfing the salaries of other TV hosts at the time. Harpo Productions wasn't just a business move, it was a declaration of her independence and entrepreneurial spirit. In addition to her control over the Oprah Winfrey Show, Oprah's business acumen extended beyond television. She strategically leveraged her influence across multiple media platforms, entering into deals with companies like ABC, where she secured rights for other shows, films, books, and magazines under the Harpo banner. This comprehensive approach to business allowed Oprah to not only dominate television, but also create a legacy that spanned various sectors of entertainment. Her foresight also led her to negotiate a stake in King World Productions, the company responsible for distributing iconic shows like Jeopardy! and Wheel of Fortune. This ownership stake ensured that Oprah would benefit from every show produced by the company, further solidifying her status as a media mogul. Through her visionary approach to business, Oprah redefined what it meant to be a television host, becoming a powerful force in both the creative and financial aspects of the media world. Harpo Productions continues to stand as a testament to her entrepreneurial spirit, and her business acumen remains one of the cornerstones of her enduring legacy. Oprah Winfrey's real estate portfolio is as impressive as her career, with properties that span from coast to coast, reflecting both her incredible success and her refined taste for luxury living. Her collection of homes is not only a testament to her wealth, but also to her ability to create spaces that serve as private sanctuaries away from the public eye. One of her most notable properties is her sprawling estate in Montecito, California, which she purchased in 2001 for $50 million. This 23,000-square-foot Neo-Georgian mansion is often referred to as the Promised Land, a name Oprah herself gave it. The estate boasts beautifully landscaped grounds, featuring rose gardens, fountains, and terraces that offer breathtaking views of the Pacific Ocean. In addition to the main house, the estate includes a ranch-style guest house, a tea house, and koi ponds. The attention to detail in the home's design reflects Oprah's taste for elegance and tranquility, making this estate her primary residence and a place where she can retreat and recharge. Oprah's Montecito holdings didn't stop with the promised land. Over the years, she has expanded her real estate footprint in the area, purchasing additional properties, including the 23-acre Seamare Farm for $29 million in 2016. This expansive property features equestrian facilities, orchards, and vast open spaces that provide even more privacy and seclusion. In 2019, Oprah acquired the former home of actor Jeff Bridges, adding another four acres to her already vast estate. Beyond California, Oprah has invested in properties in other parts of the United States. In 2014, she purchased an 8,700-square-foot home in Telluride, Colorado, for $14 million. This high-tech smart home combines rustic mountain charm with modern amenities, including floor-to-ceiling windows that offer stunning views of the Colorado landscape. The property also features a dramatic stone fireplace, a retractable cinema screen, and advanced technology that allows Oprah to manage various aspects of the home remotely. Oprah's real estate ventures extend to the Pacific Northwest as well. 
In 2018, she purchased a 43-acre estate on Orcas Island in Washington State for more than $8 million. The estate includes a 7,300-square-foot main house with reclaimed wood and custom ironwork, a private beach, and scenic walking trails. This secluded retreat offers Oprah a peaceful escape in the midst of nature, highlighting her appreciation for both luxury and serenity. Oprah's love for Maui, Hawaii, is well known, and her real estate investments there reflect her commitment to preserving the natural beauty of the island. Since 2002, she has acquired more than 900 acres of land in Maui, ensuring that the area remains free from overdevelopment. Her estate on the island includes multiple properties, and she has worked to protect the land's natural state. Combining luxury, living with environmental conservation. From California to Colorado, Washington to Hawaii, Oprah's real estate portfolio reflects not only her immense wealth, but also her dedication to creating private, beautiful spaces where she can retreat from the demands of her high-profile career. Each property, with its unique design and location, showcases Oprah's refined taste and her love for luxury, nature, and privacy. Oprah Winfrey's love life has been a subject of fascination for decades, particularly her long-standing relationship with Stedman Graham. The couple's bond, which spans over 35 years, has defied the expectations of Hollywood romances and has remained strong despite the absence of marriage. Oprah's decision not to marry or have children has often sparked public curiosity, but her choice reflects a deep understanding of herself and her life's purpose. Oprah and Stedman first met in 1986 at a charity event, the same year The Oprah Winfrey Show premiered on national television. Their connection was immediate, and they began dating shortly after. Stedman, a successful businessman, educator, and author in his own right, has always maintained a relatively low profile, content to support Oprah's flourishing career while building his own. His reserved nature has complemented Oprah's public persona, creating a balanced dynamic in their relationship. In 1992, after several years of dating, Oprah and Stedman became engaged. The announcement made headlines, as many assumed the couple would eventually marry. However, in 1993, Oprah and Stedman made the unconventional decision to call off the wedding, choosing instead to remain life partners without the formalities of marriage. This decision, while surprising to many, was a mutual agreement based on their understanding of each other's needs and desires. Oprah has been open about her reasons for not marrying or having children. In multiple interviews, she has expressed that her career and her deep commitment to her work left little room for the demands of traditional family life. She has often stated that had she chosen to marry and have children, her career, her show, and the impact she wanted to make on the world would not have been possible at the same scale. In a candid conversation, Oprah once shared that she knew she wouldn't have been the kind of mother who could balance the demands of motherhood with her work. And that realization led her to the decision not to have children. Stedman has been a constant source of support and strength for Oprah throughout their relationship. Despite not being in the limelight as much as Oprah, he has always been her biggest champion, standing by her side during both her successes and challenges. In many ways, their relationship thrives because it does not conform to traditional expectations. Both Oprah and Stedman have created a life together that works for them, filled with love, mutual respect, and independence. Their bond is built on understanding and shared values. Stedman has consistently supported Oprah's ambitions, while Oprah has credited Stedman for being her rock through the most demanding years of her career. They have maintained a deep connection without the need for legal or social labels, showing the world that love and commitment come in many forms. Oprah's decision to live her life on her own terms, both in her career and her personal life, has made her a role model for millions. Her relationship with Stedman 
is a testament to the power of love that doesn't require marriage to thrive. Together, they have shown that the most important elements of a relationship are respect, trust, and a deep understanding of each other's needs. Oprah Winfrey's philanthropy is as influential as her career, and her impact on society extends far beyond her media empire. Known for her generosity and commitment to various causes, Oprah has used her platform and wealth to make a significant difference in the lives of countless individuals around the world. Her philanthropic efforts span education, disaster relief, women's empowerment, and cultural preservation, all of which reflect her deep belief in giving back and helping those in need. One of the cornerstones of Oprah's philanthropic work is her commitment to education. She has long been an advocate for improving educational opportunities for underserved communities. Over the years, Oprah has donated millions to educational institutions, with one of her most notable contributions being to Morehouse College, an all-male, historically black college in Atlanta, Georgia. She has provided more than 400 scholarships to students there, helping young men achieve their dreams of higher education. Her belief in the power of education as a tool for transformation is evident in her consistent support of initiatives that promote learning and personal growth. In 2007, Oprah took her dedication to education a step further by founding the Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy for Girls in South Africa. This institution was established to provide a world-class education to underprivileged girls, empowering them to become leaders in their communities. Oprah invested $40 million of her own money into the school, which currently educates hundreds of students. The Academy is not only a testament to Oprah's belief in the importance of education, but also her commitment to making a long-lasting impact on future generations. Beyond education, Oprah has been a key figure in disaster relief efforts. After Hurricane Katrina devastated the Gulf Coast in 2005, Oprah's Angel Network raised more than $10 million to help those affected by the disaster. She personally donated $10 million to the cause, helping to rebuild homes and provide essential supplies for families who had lost everything. Her swift and substantial response demonstrated her ability to leverage her influence for meaningful change during times of crisis. Oprah's philanthropic reach also extends into the realm of cultural preservation and social justice. In 2013, she donated $12 million to the Smithsonian National Museum of African American History and Culture, one of the largest donations ever made to the museum. Her contribution helped ensure that the stories and contributions of African Americans are preserved and celebrated for future generations. This donation aligns with Oprah's lifelong commitment to advocating for the underrepresented and fighting for equality and justice. Through her Oprah Winfrey Foundation and Oprah's Angel Network, she has supported various causes, from building schools in impoverished areas to providing grants to organizations working on women's empowerment and mental health initiatives. What sets Oprah's philanthropy apart is her personal involvement and the significant financial resources she commits to her causes. She doesn't just donate money. She takes an active role in ensuring that her contributions make a lasting impact. Oprah Winfrey's philanthropy is a reflection of her personal values and her belief in the power of giving back. Her efforts have transformed countless lives, from providing educational opportunities to underprivileged students to supporting disaster relief and cultural preservation. Through her unwavering commitment to philanthropy, Oprah has proven that true success is not just about personal achievement, but about the difference one makes in the world. Her legacy as a philanthropist will continue to inspire future generations to use their own success as a force for good. Oprah Winfrey's net worth in 2024 is a staggering reflection of her hard work, business acumen, and decades of influence in media and beyond. As of this year, 
her net worth is estimated at $3.5 billion, placing her among the wealthiest self-made women in the world. What sets Oprah apart from many of her peers is that her wealth is not solely the result of one industry, but a diverse portfolio of ventures spanning television, film, publishing, and real estate, among others. Her rise to billionaire status can largely be attributed to her revolutionary decision in the 1980s to start Harpo Productions, taking control of her own show's production and distribution. This bold move enabled her to capitalize on every aspect of the highly successful Oprah Winfrey show, making her not just a television host, but a media mogul. This groundbreaking strategy laid the foundation for her empire and turned her into a powerful figure in both entertainment and business. Apart from media, Oprah's net worth has been significantly bolstered by her real estate portfolio. With properties in Montecito, California, Maui, Hawaii, and Telluride, Colorado, she has invested wisely in luxury homes that have appreciated tremendously over time. Additionally, her stake in Weight Watchers, where she joined the board of directors in 2015, has grown her wealth considerably. When she first purchased shares in the company, they were worth around $43 million. Today, they have surged to a value of over $400 million. Oprah's legacy extends far beyond her financial success. She has redefined the role of women in media, breaking barriers for women of color and setting a new standard for ownership and influence. Her contributions to society, both as a philanthropist and an entrepreneur, have left an indelible mark on the world. She has inspired countless individuals with her story of resilience, determination, and vision. As we look at Oprah's net worth in 2024, it's clear that her impact is not just measured in dollars, but in the lives she has touched, the doors she has opened, and the way she has shaped culture. Her legacy is one of empowerment, showing that with vision and perseverance, it is possible to change the world. Thank you for joining us on this deep dive into the extraordinary life and legacy of Oprah Winfrey. From her humble beginnings to becoming a media mogul and philanthropist, Oprah has redefined success and shown us the power of resilience, vision, and giving back. Her impact on media, business, and society is unmatched, and her journey continues to inspire millions around the globe. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others who might find it inspiring. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating stories and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Let us know in the comments which part of Oprah's incredible journey inspired you the most. Thank you for watching.